Twin political storms gathered more force today over potential misdeeds at the IRS and the seizure of reporters' phone records. The attorney general faced questions before the House Judiciary Committee and the administration came under new criticism. Now, my question isn't about who's going to resign. My question is, who's going to jail over this scandal? House Speaker John Boehner led the way this morning as Republicans stepped up demands for action in the scandal at the Internal Revenue Service. There are laws in place to prevent this type of abuse. Someone made a conscious decision uh, to uh, uh, harass and to hold up uh, these uh, requests uh, for uh, tax-exempt status. That followed last night's release of a report from the Treasury Department's Inspector General. It found the IRS used inappropriate criteria that identified for review Tea Party and other organizations applying for tax-exempt status based upon their names or policy positions. And there was more. USA Today reported that during the same period, the IRS approved perhaps dozens of applications from similar liberal and progressive groups. Mr. President. On the, the Senate Republican floor, Republican Minority Republican Leader Obama. Mitch McConnell pressed the White House to make sure the IRS the cooperates fully with congressional investigations. These allegations are very serious. That there was an effort to bring the power of the federal government to bear on those the administration disagreed with in the middle of a heated national election. It actually could be, could be criminal. And we're determined to get the answers. McConnell and the other 44 Republicans in the Senate signed a letter to President Obama demanding full compliance. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney said today the president is committed to getting to the bottom of what happened. He expects people to be held accountable if they engaged in inappropriate activity, inappropriate conduct.